Hey guys, it's your buddy again, Jeremy, with yourviewsnow.com. Hey again, I have the Hero ROM for the T-Mobile G1. Um, it's off of a phone that's coming out soon, the HTC's Hero. Um, it's the, the newest uh, flagship phone for HTC. Right now, the Hero ROM that's being used is Jack Hero, um, J-A-C Hero. I found the ROM and the tutorial off of the unlockers.com. I will be having the website and um, some info about using the ROM on the description to the side. Again, uh, please load and use the root on the G1 before you install the ROM. I tried also just using the ROM before rooting the phone just to see and um, again it will not work. So please root the phone first, follow the, the tutorial and then load the ROM on the phone. So here's the G1 with again the Jack Hero ROM on here. Um, you see there, for some reason this is in military time. You see 1834 and 1834 at the top. Hey, it's okay. I'm, I'm on Wi Fi. So far, all the functions work Wi Fi, uh, camera, all the um, sliding, the, the, the jog dial, everything works here. Or the um, scroll wheel, I should say. Um, so everything works. Right here is the unlock screen again. I have it in, so it's just all touch cable. I think it's a really great feature. Um, see the wheel how it rolls down for the clock. Uh, again, um, military time up top, but you see here it is actually 635. Um, you can scroll to the side with you using your hand or using the, the ball here at, at the bottom. Again, this is not a finished uh, ROM. The ROM is always being updated, so there are things that don't work, things that do work, and there's also things that take time. So this will be an end up Review of the Hero ROM that, should, that will be coming out soon. Um, so here's the camera or the picture album here. You can kind of swipe up and down. It uses touch flow. So again, there's a lot of HTC phones with touch with touch flow, and it's not anything that hasn't been seen before. So um, there's that. You, you can also have up to seven pages here, or seven tabs, or seven windows, however you want to call it. Uh, is, I'm in Sacramento. That's the weather out outside. 102 degrees. It's been hot. It's been hot out here. Yesterday it was 110. Um, so there's a lot of things that you can definitely update. You can also have different. Uh, you can set for different areas. There's San Francisco, 54 uh, over there. Uh, so it's just, actually that that switched to Celsius. See, so um, again, that's the, that's a problem to tweak there. So I'm just going through this right here, so you can see everything was going on. Um, Everything is movable and customizable. There's nothing on here that's not customizable on the home screens. You can change them to whatever liking that you want. This side we have the, um, this is actually the radio, or I should say, my my music player. Um, here's a song I have here. I'm gonna start playing. And it's it's it. There's certain parts that are slow that do take time. So as again, it's always being updated. This is Usher, a couple of songs from him. Okay, you can pause that. And we have our bookmarks page. Um, it'll load up. There is Flash 9 on the web browser. Um, it, I wanted to be able to show this. Uh, I was online last night trying to figure out where uh, I could show something real good on this. And actually, there isn't anything. Most everything updated Flash 10 now. So if there are a couple few sites that have nothing really worth showing. So I was pretty disappointed that there, uh, this doesn't have Flash 10. There are a couple of ROMs that have Flash 10, um, which I might update and do another video on, just showing Flash 10 capable on the phone. Um, I know the Nokia series, they have Flash on their phones, but it's not Flash 10. Some sites, um, a lot of sites are viewable on those phones. So here's a calendar app here. And the thing that's nice, there's also a lot of different calendar apps. So let me show you deleting the calendar and putting up a new calendar here. So I'm going to grab, and once it gets highlighted, you can drag down to remove. You let it go. It goes away. Press the add button. And what do you want to add? Let's say HTC. Let's go through all the um, different uh, shortcuts or widgets that you can add on your screen. So here's shortcut. We have bookmark, Google Mail label, in mail inbox, music playlist, person, or program. And you have a list of what programs you want to add. Let's go back. We have HTC widget. So now they have bookmarks, calendar, the clock, mail, messages, music, people, photo album, 
photo frame, search, settings, stocks, Twitter, and weather. So those are them. Those are those there. <laughs> Android, Android widget. We have the analog clock, the calendar, music, picture frame, and search. And last, you can add a folder. So we're going. We're trying to do this calendar here. So let's pick calendar. After you pick it, that's the one that we had at first, and we can switch it to a different, like a little small calendar. So let's do a small calendar this time. That's how it be. So just show your upcoming events. Um, and this is actually just synced off of my uh, off of my um, Google account. So I'm signed in. Um, so that's that's a great thing there too. Um, let's see. And then we can also grab again, throw it away. And actually, you can clear off everything on on, on, on all the windows too. There's a great uh, thing here where if you click this little tab. So that's again that's the application. So let's show this while we're here. We have the um, okay. We have photo albums. We have our browser, calculator, calendar, camcorder, camera, clock, the dialer, Google Mail, Google Maps, Google Talk, Mail, uh, Market again, messages, music, PDF viewer, Peep, which is Twitter, people. Um, Quick Office, Settings, Stocks, Super User Permission, haven't used that yet, Swapper, Teeter, Terminal Emulator, which you will need to get the market working once you um, load the ROM, Voice Recorder, Weather, Wildest Tether, which is a great feature, and the YouTube app. Um, so, let me go back to showing what I was talking about as far as customizing your home page. That seems like that's the main thing with phones now. Uh, everyone's doing changing your home screen, moving, moving the wedges around, that's the biggest thing out now. So again, you click scenes. Um, here you have you have different, um, your scenes, or I should say your home screens can all be categorized or custom made. So if you have one, if you made it a certain way, you can save that and then again, um, just reload that up. So as you see here, HTC has a couple that's already made for you. So let's do uh, travel. So when you do travel and do done, uh, we don't want to save our old thing. It will actually erase everything, and it will load the older scene. That's what HCC is calling it. And this is here for travel. So as you see, it has two different clocks: Pacific time, Sacramento time. So this is for say if you're, on, you're traveling traveling uh, to a different country. You can have your home time and the time that you're going to be at. Um, you have your, ca your your contacts, the map, browser, everything that you would need for when you're traveling. Of course, your camera for taking those nice pictures while you're out. Um, the browser to see what's going on around you. You have your map so you can l locate things, know where you're at. Your emails. Um, so the, the weather, where you're at. So you can have... It's, it's nice that it, the phone can kind of organize to what you're going to be doing and where you're going to be going. There's your Twitter. Uh, the small one here is your music player. So we're on the plane. Put your headsets on. Listen to some music. Uh, whatever. And of course your calendar. Everyone needs the calendar on to keep themselves organized. Um, so again, let's click.